lesson is going to be a little abstract here, but I just want to share with you how important nth child is to get to know. Nth child can be applied to anything. In this particular case, we're going to create a web page with div tags. We're not going to create an ID for these div tags. We're simply going to give them nth child, and it's really a cool technique. Again, this will get you thinking about how to use nth child in a proper way. It can be used for any kind of tag, so let's get started. I'm going to type in the name of my tags here, B-R-A-N-D-I-N-G, space, site, nav, space, main, content. Now, I'm just going to make this as simplistic as possible here. Make a change, save a change. Okay, so we want to put this content inside of a wrapper tag. So we're going to select the body tag, select the body tag, and come up here to layout and Let's call this wrapper. Okay, now wrapper doesn't have a rule, so let's create a rule for wrapper. So select the tag, select the tag, wrapper tag, and make a rule. So let's do our standard box, 900 pixels by 650. Let's drop this, uh, align this to the right automatically, align this to the left automatically. Let's put a solid two pixel red border. So we have something like this. Okay, so we're not gonna name the ID tags here. We're just going to basically surround this content with div tags. So here's a simple way we could do this. I could double click this and come up here to do this. Okay, and just hit okay. That's gonna create a div tag. I'm not gonna name the div tag. That'll just be the first div tag. So as an example, the wrapper is the main div tag. We're going to create div tags inside of the wrapper tag. So div tag, div tag, div tag. Okay. So double click Command T, Command T for Macintosh, Control T for Windows. We're just going to type in div. Again, we're not going to give it a name. We're just going to simply make this a div tag. Then site tab. Double click Command. T, command T for quick tag, command key T for Macintosh, control T for Windows, and DIV, return key once, twice. Double click main content, command T, DIV, once, twice. Again, command T for Macintosh, control T for Windows. Now, I just want to generically talk to div when div is inside of a wrapper. So, how can I do this? Well, just like we create the rule for any other tag, select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Make a rule for the tag. Now, in this particular case, we don't want to talk to all div tags on the site. We just want to talk to the div tag when div tag is inside of a wrapper. We want to basically define the nth child of the div tag inside of a wrapper. So, how can we do this? Okay, div colon and hyphen child, we want to talk to the first div tag inside of the wrapper tag. So we're going to say div colon and child one. Again, wrapper is important to have that there. Otherwise, if I did this, this would be all the div tags inside of wrapper. Okay, so I want to basically talk to the wrapper div. So it's So it's wrapper div and child, and we're going to hit OK. So this wrapper div is simply going to be a box that's going to be 150 pixels high. This is going to be my div tag for the branding tag, because that's the first div tag to child one. We're going to give this 10 pixels of padding, and if you watched my videos before, we want to keep this at 150, so we're going to minus. 20 and hit OK. Now, you can't see this happening until you hit Live View. Once I hit Live View, you can see here's branding. Now, to make this a little bit clearer to you guys, I'm going to go back to my Shop One Div tag and I'm just going to give this a background color just so you can visually see. So let's make this uh, yellow. 
make a change, save a change, live view. Okay, now we can set the second div tag. Now we can keep going and creating this from scratch, but again, as we learned in the previous class, we could simply hold up the control key or right click Windows, control key, Macintosh, duplicate that. So let's make that, this will be the second div tag, which in this particular case is going to be site nav. So it's going to be nth child two. So nth child two, double click. So let's think about this very, very uh, intelligently. So this is going to have a width of this site nav is going to be site nav height is 650. Sorry, site nav width is 900. 900 minus minus. I'm sorry. I'm just not thinking right now. Okay, so this width is going to be 150 pixels wide. The height is going to be the height of the site, which is 650 minus minus the branding tag. Okay, so we're going to give it five pixels of padding, which means we need to do what to the width and what to the height. Into minus top and bottom is height, so minus 10. And left and right is width, so minus 10. And this site nav div tag needs to flow to the left. It needs to flow to the left. This is child two. Okay, get, can't see this until you go to live view. <coughs> now you'll see in this particular case here, let's go back out of live view for a second. Let's go back to child two and let's give this a different background color. So you can just visually see it's different here. So let's just make this uh, blue with white type. Okay, I'm just sharing with you the flexibility and the possibility of nth child tags. Okay, now this last one, just because we can, just as a view here, let's create this one from scratch. So select the div tag, select the div tag, and create the rule. Select the tag, make the rule, and again, div colon nth. child. Now inside the wrapper tag, main content is div tag what? Div tag three. So div tag three is going to have, let's give this a background color of gray. Let's just, just because we can, let's just make this gray. We'll keep the tie face white. Now the box is going to be the width of itself, the width of the site is 900 pixels minus the site nav which is 150 pixels. The height is going to be the height of the site, which is the height of the wrapper tag, which is 650, minus the branding tag, which is 150. And let's give this 35 pixels of padding. So top and bottom, top and bottom is height. So minus, minus 70 pixels from the height. And width, width is left and right, that's minus 70 pixels. Now. We're going to also float this one to the left. If they're going right next to each other, <clears throat> we can float them all to the left. Okay, make a change, save a change. So if I go to live view, there is my div tags. Now, I just want to make a slight change here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The site nav, I want to drop down uh, another inch from the top. So I can double click which one. Child two, because just how it appears on the page. This is one, this is two, this is three. So double click two, double click two. Computer is freezing here, so just bear with me. Sorry guys, my computer crashed, or I should say Dreamweaver crashed. So let's double click child two. Let's go to the box section and drop this down an inch from the top. So deselect same for all, and say plus 72. So therefore it's gonna add 72 pixels or one inch to the top, which means we need to minus 72 from the height. Again, basic math skills here, guys. You can put a 10 foot table inside of a nine foot room. So if you extend the width or the height with padding, then you have to minus that amount if you don't want it to be knocked out of the box. So if I hit OK and save the changes and go to lot view, notice that it just dropped it down from the top. 
So it's a very simple system. If, now, this takes a little bit more intuitiveness to understanding the program because unfortunately you can't see this until you publish the page or you go to live view. So, but I just want to share with you exactly how they appear on the page. So as an example, this is div one, this is div two, this is div three. So you can talk to those divs as child tags and child. It's a very popular, I'm sorry, it's a very uh, great thing to be able to do, especially to have more flexibility for your web design for your clients. This will separate you from the people out there that think they know what they're doing, but they don't know what they're doing. They think they know what they're doing. Anyway, enjoy this video. I'll talk to you soon.